Let's get right into it. Number 8. Your inner monkey grip. Babies grab onto things like their life depends on it. This iron grip is called the palmar grasp reflex. Put your finger in a baby's palm, and their tiny fingers lock around it like a vice. This isn't just a cute baby thing. It's a leftover survival tool from our monkey ancestors. Imagine a baby monkey millions of years ago. Its mom needs to escape a predator, swinging through trees at high speed. If the baby doesn't hold on tight to mom's fur, it falls. And in the jungle, falling means becoming someone else's lunch. Evolution created this automatic strong grip for survival. Human babies have this reflex in the womb and keep it for about six months after birth. They can grip so hard they could support their own body weight. Their bodies are still prepared for a life in the trees. When something touches a baby's palm, their spinal cord sends an instant grab it signal to their fingers. The brain isn't involved. It's like their hand has its own tiny monkey brain making survival decisions. For those first few months, every baby is basically channeling their inner monkey with their tiny hands. Number 7. Ghost Tail Wiggles That weird bone at the bottom of your spine? That's actually the remains of your tail. It's called the coccyx. Humans used to have full-on monkey-style tails. Our ancestors used them for balance while jumping between trees and to communicate emotions. Think of it like prehistoric emoji. Tail up meant I'm happy. Tail down meant back off buddy. But when our ancestors started walking on two legs, the tail became useless. Our tails got shorter until only the coccyx remained. This happened because a piece of DNA jumped around and messed up the tail-making instructions. About 1 in 100,000 babies are still born with a tiny tail, which doctors usually remove. Sometimes this ghost tail tries to wiggle. That random twitch you might feel at the bottom of your spine is your body trying to wag a tail that's not there anymore. It's like phantom limb syndrome, but for a tail you never had. These ghost wiggles happen because you still have tiny muscles attached to your tailbone that used to control tail movement. They occasionally wake up and try to do their old job, especially when we're stressed or startled. Number 6. The nerve that took the scenic route. Imagine a phone cable that, instead of going straight from your phone to the wall, first runs down to your basement, loops around a pipe, then comes back up to connect. That sounds pretty dumb. But that's what one of your nerves does. It's called the recurrent laryngeal nerve. This nerve starts in your brain, but instead of going straight to your voice box nearby, it takes a wild detour. It goes all the way down into your chest, loops around your body's biggest artery, the aorta, and then finally heads back up to your voice box. This isn't just some random design flaw. It's actually a leftover from when we were fish. In our fishy ancestors, this nerve had a straight shot from the brain to the gills. Everything was efficient back then. But as these animals evolved onto land, their hearts and other organs started moving down into their chests. Instead of the nerve getting a new, more direct route, it just got dragged along for the ride over millions of years. Like when you're moving houses, and instead of unplugging your TV cables properly, you just let them get tangled around everything. The craziest part is the same weird root shows up in all mammals. In giraffes, this nerve takes a 15-foot detour down that long neck, around the heart, and back up again. That's like driving to your next-door neighbor's house by first going to the next town over. Evolution doesn't care about efficiency, only good enough. Number 5. Skin bumps for no reason. Ever get those tiny bumps on your skin when you're cold or scared? Those are goose bumps. They happen because tiny muscles attached to each of your hair follicles called erector pili contract and pull your hair straight up. Back when our ancestors were covered in thick fur, these bumps actually did something useful. When they got cold, the puffed up fur trapped warm air close to the skin, like a cozy jacket. When danger appeared, making their fur stand on end made them look bigger and scarier to predators. But now, we have barely any body hair. These muscles still flex and create bumps, but there's no fur to stand up. It's like trying to raise a flag on a missing pole. Your body is still running this ancient program, but the hardware it was designed for was uninstalled ages ago. Scientists found these bumps might not be totally useless after all. When the muscles contract, they signal stem cells in your hair follicles, possibly encouraging hair growth. Your body is still trying to grow a thick fur coat that evolution canceled long ago. You can get goosebumps from being emotional too. Your body can't tell the difference between being cold and watching a scary movie. It's like your skin is that friend who overreacts to everything. Number 4. The third eyelid. You barely have. Look at the inner corner of your eye in the mirror. See that tiny pink fold of skin? That's a leftover from when humans had a third eyelid. It's called the plica semilunaris, the evolutionary equivalent of useless junk. 
Our distant ancestors had a fully working third eyelid that moved across their eyes like a windshield wiper. Most birds and reptiles still have this feature today. Their third eyelid sweeps across their eye, clearing out dirt and protecting them during fights or while swimming. Some animals even use it to see clearly underwater, like built-in goggles. But somewhere along our evolutionary journey, we lost this useful feature. Instead of a protective shield, we got stuck with this tiny useless fold that just sits there doing nothing except collect eye gunk. It's basically the appendix of your eye. There's actually one primate that still has a working third eyelid, the Calabar Anguantibo. This little guy is living proof that evolution played favorites, flexing on all of humanity with his superior eye protection. Meanwhile, humans are left squinting and rubbing their eyes when they get dusty. Number 3. The Choking Tube Design Imagine having one tube for both breathing and eating. That's like having one pipe for your toilet and drinking water. A disaster waiting to happen. That's what evolution gave us. Every time you swallow, your body has to quickly decide, lungs or stomach. Your throat is basically a traffic intersection where food and air have to share the same road. A little flap called the epiglottis is supposed to cover your windpipe when you eat, like a tiny bouncer deciding what gets in. But this bouncer isn't always great at its job. Sometimes it lets food slip into the wrong tube, causing you to choke. This system requires over 50 different muscles working together perfectly every time you swallow. Like conducting an orchestra just to eat a chip, one wrong move leads to choking. This shared tube system is actually what lets us talk. Evolution essentially traded a safe eating experience for the ability to speak. Humans chose speech. Number 2. The Vitamin C Catastrophe Imagine being so bad at evolution that you forget how to make your own vitamins. Well, that's exactly what happened to us humans. Most mammals can make their own vitamin C. Dogs, cats, even rats can do it. But humans can't. About 60 million years ago, one of our ancestors had their vitamin C factory gene breakdown. It's like someone hit the self-destruct button on our internal orange juice maker. This massive fail didn't kill us right away. Our fruit-loving ancestors were living in tropical paradises full of vitamin C, getting plenty from their diet. It's like having a broken vending machine when there's a free snack bar next door. Fast forward a few million years, and suddenly humans are sailing across oceans with nothing but salted meat and rum. That's when this evolutionary oopsie really started to show. Sailors started getting scurvy, their gums would bleed, their teeth would fall out, old wounds would reopen, and they'd feel like they'd been hit by a truck. Their bodies were falling apart in slow motion. Meanwhile, the ship's cat is perfectly fine because it can make its own vitamin C. Guinea pigs are one of the few other mammals that also can't make their own vitamin C. So now we're stuck having to eat fruits and vegetables, or take supplements. You're fixing a 60 million year old mistake every day. Number 1. The Hiccup Glitch that annoying hiccup spasm is actually an ancient bug in your system from when our ancestors were fish. It's like your body is running ancient fish software that nobody bothered to update. Millions of years ago, our ancestors had to breathe both water and air, juggling between gills and primitive lungs. They needed a special reflex to switch between water and air breathing, a valve system making sure water went to the gills and air went to the lungs. We still have this reflex. When you hiccup, your diaphragm suddenly contracts. At the same time, your brain sends a signal through an old nerve to close your windpipe, slamming shut a tiny flap called the epiglottis. It's like your body is still trying to stop water from getting into your lungs, except there is no water. Now it just makes you look silly. Baby humans actually hiccup a lot, especially while feeding. Scientists think it might help them learn how to control their breathing muscles properly, so maybe this ancient fish glitch accidentally became useful for something else. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.